all you cool cats and welcome back to another episode of Steins Gate. We have received some mail and we need to check it out. Oh my gosh. Shining Finger blew me up. Alright. Moika here. Are you a student, Okabe-kun? Are you on summer break? Moika. Are you a day or night person? If you... Rather I email you around a certain time. Let me know. I want you to reply as soon as you can, but I don't want to be a bother, so let me know, okay? By the way, I don't like talking on the phone, so please don't call me. Bye-bye. I just remembered I didn't tell you my phone number. That's okay. I'm a lot more comfortable communicating by email anyway. What about you, Okabe-kun? Are you still asleep, Rise and Shine? Have you talked to the super hacker yet? Oh, I'd like to hear more about John What's-His-Face. I'm super curious. I'm nocturnal, so I usually don't go to bed until the sun comes up. <laughs> it's not so bad once you get used to it. Mail me when you wake up, okay? Okay, like, the the words, like, crossing across the screen, like, right here where it's, like, rise and shine, ri rise is, like, split up, that is really hard to read for my brain. Wait a minute. Let me make sure that there's no sneaky past emails, okay? Just making sure. Alright. Um. The dawn of a new day. Actually, it's already noon. We didn't sleep at all. Sleep deprivation makes the summer sun seem all the brighter. I really don't want to go outside, but I'm fed up with the humidity inside the lab. I chug a bottle of Dr. P. My stomach protests. Maybe I drank too fast. I'm exhausted. My hands are shaking slightly, and my vision is cloudy. I could pass out if I'm not careful. Maybe I should take a shower. That should stave off exhaustion, if only temporarily. This building has a basic shower room. There's no bath, but it's enough. The lab would be hell without it. Dar is at his computer, his back turned towards me. His right leg is bouncing impatiently. The room is mostly silent, save for the electrical fans humming and Dar's mouse clicks. Dar doesn't look my way, but he doesn't try to start a conversation. Neither do I. I don't have the energy. Outside is a sunny summer afternoon, but inside the air is stale and empty of life. Yesterday, the shocking experiment convinced me that the phone wave name subject change was also a time machine, but Carissa didn't seem willing to accept the results. She just started screaming. A time machine? A time machine? It can't be! Then she took off. She, then she took a mad dash out of the lab. It was like she couldn't get out of here fast enough. As for Mayori, she was depressed about her chicken and bananas, so she skipped her daily costume sewing and went home. Grudges over food run deep, I guess. Which leaves the lab empty, save for Daru and me. Our enthusiasm shot through the roof when we realized that the phone wave, name subject to change, had tremendous hidden potential. We nearly died of excitement after successfully sending an email to the past. So we stayed up all night doing experiments to confirm whether or not the, the phone wave name subject to change is indeed a time machine. The results, however, we went to the supermarket and stocked up on a wide variety of items. We tossed each of them into the phone wave name subject to change, but everything failed. No change. Nothing happened. After the experiment where the discharge phenomenon occurred, everything warmed up normally. No jellification. Suddenly we couldn't get anything to happen. We still have no idea why. First, let's review the problems revealed by this last run of experiments. Problem 1. Electrical discharge safety precautions. We moved everything flammable from the development room to reduce the risk of fire. We also prepared two fire buckets full of water, just in case. But that's not a fundamental solution. We'll keep an eye out from now on. But if things get dangerous, we should seriously consider relocating our experiments. Problem 2. Mass increase. When the discharge phenomenon occurs, the phone wave name subject to change suddenly gains mass for unknown reasons. Because of this, the microwave broke the table and made a dent in the floor. To deal with the issue, we place the microwave on the floor. We spread cushions and blankets underneath. This hides the hole on the floor, too. It's only a temporary fix, though. If we make any more holes, Mr. Braun is quite capable of raising my rent. And that's to say nothing of the calamity it will cause if it falls through the floor. Anyway, we need to find the source of this mass increase. If amateurs like us can, that is. 
But the first two problems pale before the third. This last problem is critical. Until we solve it, we can't even really experiment with the phone, nave, phone wave name subject to change. Problem three. We're not even sure of the necessary conditions to send emails to the past. No matter how many times we tried, we couldn't pin down a single condition. We spent the entire night doing trial and error. We tried over 40 different things. Not once could we reproduce the discharge phenomenon. I had the idea that opening the microwave door was the key. That theory was proven false. There might be something else I'm missing, but for now, we are at an impasse. We started off in high spirits, but grew more and more frustrated as time progressed, which brings us to the present. Honestly, I gave up. That's why I spent the entire morning lazing about like this. Another email pops in my phone. Is it going to be from that shining finger? Yeah, it is. I haven't gotten a reply yet. Are you still asleep? You sleep too much, Okabe-kun. You're living like an old man. Well, I guess I'm not one to talk. Lamal. Anyway, let me know when you have something on the IBN 5100. Pretty please. I've been getting way too many of these since yesterday. They're all from Shining Finger. The woman called Kiryu Moika. I've never used email this often before. Even Mayuri only sends me one or two a day and she's a teenage girl. Frankly, this is starting to get on my nerves. I saw how fast Shining Finger typed. That should have been enough to tip me off that she was a male demon. I was careless. It's too much of a pain to reply, so I ignore it. I finish off my bottle of Dr. P. My stomach gurgles. I haven't eaten anything since yesterday. I'm so hungry. I don't even feel like showering. I call out to Daru, who's hammering on the keyboard. Hey, wanna go to Sambo for a beef, some beef bowl? Nah, too much trouble. Aren't you hungry? Yeah, but... <laughs> You're such a bum. Oh, it's Mayuri! I thought it was gonna be Shining Finger and I was gonna ignore it. Mayushi's spending money is getting dangerously low. You and Daru need to chip in too sometimes. You don't want to get between me and my food. Don't get it, Green. Next time I'll treat you to... Anything you want to eat. So keep buying bananas. Okay. No, 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 no. Let's do this one. Let's be nice to her. Don't get angry. Next time I'll treat you to anything you want to eat. Let's keep buying more bananas for the sake of our experiments. Like the other one sounded so mean. I wasn't going to do that. I'd rather not respond at all at that point. <laughs> You're such a bum. What is he doing on the computer anyway? I'm curious, so I casually peek over his shoulder. There's an image of a futuristic looking facility I've never seen before. Richly colored cords crawl through a gigantic octagonal tunnel like the interior of a spaceship from a sci-fi movie. Based on the height of the people in the picture, the tunnel looks to be more than 10 meters tall. Incidentally, the people don't look Japanese. Ah. Terry sighs heartily. I don't know if the blank look in his eyes is from sleepiness, exhaustion, or something just wrong with him. The Large Hadron Collider sure is cute. <laughs> what did you just say? Large Hadron Colander? Is that an incantation? No, a secret technique? Large Hadron Collider. You don't know about it? <coughs> I grab Dara's relaxed shoulders and wring them out. <laughs> ow, 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 ow. What are you doing? <laughs> are you conscious? <laughs> of course, man. What is this large hadron collider thing? You know, it's what CERN uses to do their experiments. LHC for short. It's seriously moe. Recommended. <laughs> 
You're lusting for something that's not even humanoid? Of course not, but there's something about it that gets me excited, you know? It makes me smile, you know? Don't you feel that way? Come to think of it, I remember you said that you found factories and the undersides of highways irresistible or something. Yeah, same thing. Where does it end? 2D, 3D, and even inanimate objects? <laughs> Life's too short. I don't want to limit my interests, you know? And yet, you'll do anything to avoid things that don't interest you, hypocrite. Cern. Cern. That name. I've seen it somewhere. And recently, where was it again? It was from the... The John Titter thing, wasn't it? Oh, of course. John Titor. John Titor. Ah, John Titor? Oh yeah. Oh yeah, the guy you mentioned earlier. He's the guy at channels going crazy about, isn't he? That one might be an imposter. I was talking about the John Titor who appeared ten years ago. He appeared ten years ago? Same guy? I'd hope that Dara would remember, but no such luck. Anyway, John Titor mentioned CERN. I don't remember all of it, but there's one thing I'm sure of. Titor made a prediction, namely that before the year 2034, CERN would develop a time machine. Oh, time machine! Oh, a time machine? That's a timely topic. But that wasn't just 10 years ago. This new Titor said the same thing. It doesn't matter if it was 10 years ago or 10 seconds ago. That's not the point, Daru. This coincidence could very well be the choice of Steins Gate. Can we trust this Titor guy? It doesn't matter if we can trust him or not. Now we have something in common. A time machine. We should investigate CERN. We've got nothing to lose. Vigor returns to my body. Curiosity truly is the greatest delicacy for a mad scientist like me. Anyway, the phone wave name subject to change experiment has hit a dead end for now, so it shouldn't matter if I make a little detour for this. Tell me everything you know about CERN. Sure thing. My CERN folder is smoking hot. Daru strikes his keys with renewed passion. He goes to the My Pictures folder and opens a folder literally called CERN. CERN。は世界最大の素粒子物理学の研究施設だよ。ヨーロッパ素粒子物理学研究所だとか、欧州素粒子原子核研究機構みたいな通称で呼ばれることもある。CERN is the world's largest particle physics research institution. It's popularly called the European Laboratory for Particle Physics, or the European Organization for Nuclear Research. It's close to the border of Switzerland and France, on the outskirts of Geneva. It's famous as the birthplace of HTML, HTTP, and the World Wide Web. World Wide Web? The World Wide Web? You mean the internet? Bingo! 
URL の最初についてるやつ。Bingo! That thing is at the beginning of most URLs. CERN invented all of this? All I wanted to know is about CERN is what I read. All I know about CERN is what I read. What I. is what I read Titer's. All I know about CERN is what I read. I'm guessing the word from is missing from that sentence. All I know about CERN is what I read from Titer's book. I never knew that they were that amazing. Most people aren't aware, but there's a Japanese research team working at CERN too. What sort of research does CERN do? Particle physics mostly. CERN can do experiments no one else can because they have the biggest particle accelerators in the world. The low energy anti proton ring, the proton synchrotron booster, and the large electro electron positron collider. And the big boss is the largest accelerator in the world, the LHC. Large Hadron Collider Tan. Tan? Otaku possessed the ability to anthropomorphize in Moe form just about anything in the world simply by sticking Tan at the end of its name. Daru's powers encompass even particle accelerators. <laughs> Alright. HTML, hypertext markup language, a language used to design web page documents, allows the embedding of images, videos, sound, and hyperlinks. HTTP. Hypertext transfer protocol, the communication protocol used to transfer data like HTML between a browser and a web server. World Wide Web, abbreviated as www, also simply called the web. The standardized document system used on the internet. Otaku. Anthropomorphism. To represent a non human entity as a humanoid character. Animals and military hardware are among the most common subjects, but anything can be anthro anthropomorphized, anthropomorphized. Even abstract concepts, chemical elements, and countries. Boy, isn't that the truth? Dara doesn't seem to notice my shock. He just brings up the next image. LHC is a large circle in the CERN of CERN's height of 27 km in the circle of the LHC is a 27 km long... The LHC is a 27 km long circular tunnel built underneath CERN's headquarters. The LHC is a 27 km long circular tunnel built underneath CERN's headquarters. Its purpose is to smash protons together in the hope of creating unknown elementary particle reactions. They started experimenting last year. Before they started, there were rumors that the experiments might create mini black holes. Oh no, the mini black holes will swallow the earth. The universe is in danger, etc. Mini black holes. I'm pretty sure Titer said this, that his time machine used mini black holes. Are those the things he said about CERN true? What's the possibility of that actually happening? Hundred percent that it won't. CERN officially denies it. Let's say a mini black hole was formed. The amount of energy would be so tiny that it would disappear instantly upon formation. It would be impossible for it to swallow the world. But where there's smoke, there's fire. If I remember correctly, Titer claimed that CERN began time machine research in 2001. In 2034, they complete the time machine. Right now, it's 
2010. If they actually started that research, it would have been nine years ago. According to their official announcements, they only began experimenting in 2008. That's suspicious. Of course, that's assuming Titar's story is true. Some of Titar's predictions were on the mark, but most weren't. I'm also perplexed by how everyone around me seems to have forgotten about Titar's 2000 appearance. There's something important about in... There's something important in Titor's tale. Or at least, I want there to be. I take out my phone and put it to my ear. <laughs> it's amazing what people put up with around um, Rintaro. It's me. <laughs> Don't be surprised. I've sniffed out an evil conspiracy. John Titor and Cell. Those two words I want to say to you, I know you can tell me. Ah, that's right. These guys have a high chance of connecting with the time. John Titor, CERN. You see where I'm going with this? Yeah, that's right. They're likely connected to the organization. <笑>偶然だと。おいおい。あまり俺を失望させるなよ。何根拠だと。そうだな。あえて言えば。ささやくのだよ。俺のマッドサイエンティストとしての直感がな。Coincidence? Come now, don't disappoint me. What? Evidence? Well, if you must know. Whispers. Whispers of my mad scientist intuition. Those bastards are trying to destroy the world. Yeah, with mini black holes. But what if we were to steal that technology? What then? Of course! Who do you think I am? Everything is the choice of Stein's Gate. Elsa Kongru. I put away my phone, then turned to find Daru giving me an exasperated look. Just who the hell are you fighting with? Daru, I know what we must do. What's that? Don't you was at me? You're supposed to grin like you know exactly what I'm talking about. What kind of super hacker are you? I wanted him to say something like, Well, why the hell not? So what's in it for me? And then we'd continue like this, grinning slyly the whole time. Me, a week's worth of potato chips. Daru, ten days. Me, hmm, you sure are a glutton. Daru, the dive makes you a hungry man. Me, deal, get started. Daru, you got it, boss. Or something like that. Yup, a real cool conversation. <laughs> With a real world dart, it just purses his lips. It's. It's amazing. It's amazing what, what we all put up with. You always give such half baked explanations. Try to sound intelligible before you start to sound intelligent. Work with me here. You are a super hacker. Stop saying hacker. At least say hacker. See where I'm going with this? Nope, not at all. Hack into CERN. Daru stares at me in disbelief. Is that some kind of joke? I know you can do it, Daru. 
Expose their dastardly deeds and find any hints you can about the time machine. <gasps> oh, look, we made Mayuri happy! Thank you very much. Just hearing that from Okarin makes me happy. Dastardly deeds. You're just imagining that stuff, Okarin. We stand at a crossroads. Will the phone wave name subject to change become a functional time machine, or will it die as garbage in the lab storage? Are you serious? I'm always serious. I look Daru straight in the eye as I answer. Looks like that made him understand my position. Dari sweeps the garbage off his desk and sits up straight. I'm not responsible for the consequences, got it? Suddenly Dari is bursting with energy. It's like his earlier lethargy was a lie. Deal. Deal. Get started. Let's do this! This is ridiculous. For your payment, I'll deposit a week's supply of potato chips into your Swiss bank account. Dur doesn't respond. He's already deep in concentration. Anyway, I'm gonna sleep. It's all yours. I lie down on the sofa and let the clacking of Daru's keyboard lull me to sleep. I wake up to the twilight sun streaming in through the window. Shining finger? Oh, it's from Ferris. Kilma, when operating the in the mundane world, you're supposed to be discreet, nya. Yeah? You do want them to notice you. Remember, the summoning has taken 2,000 years to prepare. If it fails, everything will be ruined, although I suppose that might make things interesting. Yeah, ha, ha, ha. Is the church still devoted to that fool Zarin? Even if they manage to resurrect their messiah, humanity's faith is less than 17% of what it take what is in his time. Mankind doesn't they need decrepit old gods to save them. Are you suggesting that I, great Kyoma and Kyoma, run and hide? Do you risk my ire, cat girl? Original sin level rising up to. Okay, let's. Mundane world. Let's do this one. I don't know what I'm picking with these. Akiba, part of the mundane world? Nonsense. This town has belonged to chaos for centuries. As it shall forevermore. I don't know how that's gonna work. A refreshing breeze blows in, softly brushing my cheek. Dar is exactly where I left him before I fell asleep. He's sitting in exactly the same position. Not much has changed besides his typing speed. Oh, and how he's muttering to himself. I guess he hasn't had any success at hacking yet. I look around the room, but I can't find my Yoni. Maybe she's not coming today. I guess food-related grudges really do run deep. I stand up and stretch. I don't want to bother Daru, so I don't say anything to him. I take a cold Dr. P out of the fridge and quench my thirst. Then I throw myself back down on the sofa and start browsing at channel on my phone. And what perfect timing! Titer is currently posting in the thread. Alright, let me get some water before I blow through all this. The Everett Wheel model is correct. Please look it up to learn more. It seems you're all still clinging to preconceived notions of time. Time does not simply run from past to future like a car on a one-way street. To be more specific, the laws of causality do not allow contradictions to occur. If the result of an event, the effect, is changed, the event itself, the cause, is also changes to prevent a paradox. That's why there are so few people who can observe changes in divergence. Divergence being the world line's per percent difference from the standard. Die, troll. You claim to be a time traveler without any proof. Stock trends, please. I'm counting on you, Mr. Time Traveler. If you can't observe changes in divergence, then how can you possibly measure it? Oh, I know. Your time machine has a magical device that measures it for you. Lol, 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 lol. And you still haven't explained how a research institution conquers the world. Details, plocks. Oh, no. Humanity is doomed. What has science done? Dot JPEG. 
Lol, noobs responding seriously to troll thread. This Titar guy's a shitty troll. Don't you people have anything to offer besides insults? How about contributing to the discussion, plebeian scum? If you assume that time doesn't flow in a straight line, then the idea of time travel is much easier to swallow. In such a scenario, time traveling, time a time machine traveling to the past doesn't need to fight against the flow of time. I, I say Titor's points have merit. By the way, Titor, I'd like to know more about CERN. What can you tell us about their current activities? Tell me which horse wins the next Emperor's Cup. I'll bet my entire life savings. Everett Wheel model equals many worlds interpretation. Basically, that means parallel worlds. What's with all the stupid name tags? This human Kilma is more annoying than Titor. You call yourself John Titor, but you're fluent in Japanese. Writing in English would at least make it seem more realistic. You can't do English, can you? Can I ask you a favor, Titor-san? My mom died last year in Shibuya earthquake. If I stop my mom from leaving home, then I can undo her death. So please, lend me your time machine. You're going to believe this time traveler, lol, without proof? Are you an idiot? No one seems particularly interested in what I said about time not flowing in a single direction. That's proof you're that your preconceptions are deeply ingrained. Honestly, it bothers me that you simply cannot accept that as truth. I'm starting to understand why CERN was able to take over so easily. Whenever a major event causes diversions to change, the timeline is reconstructed to prevent paradoxes from occurring. For example, let's say a major event causes this world line to diverge into a new world line. Call it world line B. On world line B, I'm afraid to say at channel never existed. As the timeline is reconstruction, reconstructed, all of your memories of reading and posting on at channel will disappear to be replaced by memories of you doing something else. In other words, by changing the present, you change the past. I wrote about CERN yesterday. The only other thing I can say is that you must not believe their lies. They have already succeeded at creating micro black holes. I desire only to quench my intellectual thirst. Unlike you close-minded fools, I will reserve judgment until I've heard what Titor has to say, and then I will make contact with Titor and acquire his time machine for myself. The great mad scientist Hyo and Kyoma will have the last laugh. Suck it, sleazebags. Tell me stock prices or effing die. I won't believe it until you tell me. That's not reconstructing the world, you idiot. That's altering people's memories. Who the hell can alter the memories of nearly 6.7 billion people? Do you realize how stupid that sounds? I think I would have noticed if someone went and screwed with my brain. And what does that have to do with the many worlds interpretation? Do some research. Micro back black holes. LOL. Wait, the future's a wasteland? That means I can be a road warrior and ride a mod buggy, right? I'ma go get me a mohawk. Anyone know where I can buy spiked shoulder pads? I checked CERN's homepage. It says they've been experimenting since 2009. Can they really make black holes? What the hell's going to happen? Does Titor have a mohawk? God, that's so effing moe. Are you trying to imply our brains make the world? Are you saying the universe is a giant tree and we're branches or something? That's some Ava level BS right there. Get back to 2036. Is this how you reply to a specific person? Thank you for showing me. Reconstructing of timeline and alteration of people's memories. I think they're essentially the same thing. Why are you so intent on saying they're different? With a few exceptions, nobody can keep their memories across world lines. They are reconstructed along with everything else when divergent changes. What's a road warrior? Is this Ferris? Anyone home? I'm immersed in a heated internet argument when an unfamiliar voice interrupts me. Oh no, it's... It's that other girl. The door opens and a girl peeks inside. I recognize her. It's the girl I met yesterday at the Brown Tube Workshop. Hi, I'm Brown Tube Workshop. I'm from Brown Tube Workshop. When, ours, when our eyes meet, she smiles. The TV you sent in for repairs has been fixed. Mind picking it up? Dur's typing gets even faster. Looks like he's in the zone. It would be a bad idea to disturb him with our voices. I nod to the girl and hurry outside. Why do we have to be sneaky? Um, what was this girl's name again? I think it was something like Aruma or Amore. Oh right, Amane. Amane Suzuya. 
重要なミッションを遂行中なのだ。邪魔をしたくない。Currently, my genius partner in crime is executing an important mission. I don't want to bother him. Hmm? What exactly do you guys do? My m o t h e has done. All the time, I'm going to be able to get the same thing. I'm going to be able to get the same thing. I'm going to be able to get the same thing. I'm going to be able to get the same thing. I'm going to be able to get the same thing. You called it the future gadget laboratory, right? No, this is the same thing. I'm going to be able to get the same thing. How did you know that? I never told you. Wait, a human organization spy? I raise my guard and spring into a praying mantis stance. But Suzuya just stares blankly. That's what it said on your mailbox. Oh. I lower my guard. Why didn't she just say so? Now that you know, it's not like you can unknow. I'll give you a short explanation, but you must not tell a soul. Suzuya nods firmly. Why am I saying Suzuya? It's Suzuha. Suzuha nods firmly. Is it just me or are her eyes gleaming? <laughs> <laughs> We are the future gadget laboratory dedicated to defeating the evil organization that rules the world from the shadows. <laughs> wow! Is the evil organization CERN? <laughs> Yeah, but. Oh, so I was right. Those guys are really a contemptible lot, aren't they? She nods to herself for some reason. And contempt. Contemptible? I thought it was the only one who uses words like that in a normal conversation. Nothing. How did you know we were hacking into CERN? What? You're hacking them? Right now? Me and my big mouth. Just answer my question. How did you know about our business with CERN? Uh, um, well. <laughs> well, uh, <laughs> actually, I overheard you this afternoon. If you stand here, you can hear stuff from the window. The window? Come to think of it, it was open and Daru and I were talking loudly. But can you really hear us from here? I look up at the second floor. The window's still fully open, but I can't hear a thing. I guess Dari's working quietly. I look down. There's an unfamiliar bicycle parked in front of the bronze tube workshop. One of those mountain bikes. Its frame is all sparkly. Its tire's mostly clean. It's probably new. It looks pretty fast, but whose is it? Hers? I've only been working here for a day, but. Suzuha opens the bronze tube workshop door with a wry smile. I've got a lot more free time than I expected. I've gone out four or five times today. Figured I'd recon. Re 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 recon. Reconitor the front of the store and see if I could spawn any customers. Reconitor. Now, there's a word you don't hear in casual conversation. Re I know what recon is. Reconitor. Is it, is it a French word? Re Reconitor or reconnoiter. Reconnoiter. Now, there's a word you don't hear in casual conversation. I'm pretty sure it means to perform reconnaissance. 
to scout an area and gather intelligence. Is she some kind of secret agent? I follow Suzuha into the store. So that's when I heard you guys talking from the second floor. I got interested and looked it up online. Now I know all the rumors about CERN. Damn, we were careless. Looks like we need to close that window when we discuss sensitive matters from now on. But if we do that, the lab will turn into a scorching hell. Damned if I do, damned if I don't. <laughs> Anyway, you must not tell anyone else. Or else men in black will raid us. Ah, uh, yeah, I understand. I'm actually tight-lipped, so don't worry. Suzuha grins and thumps her chest confidently. All is quiet inside the Braun Tube Workshop. That gigantic TV isn't on. Mr. Braun is not here either. Where's the manager? He left right after he finished repairing your TV. He probably went to see the chipmunk. He disappears during business hours every now and then. I baked cookies today. I had everyone in my family eat some and got their seal of approval. Would it be okay if I bake some for your lab friends, Master? Oh, and it would be great if you could teach me some more techniques with Samadare when you have time. P.S. I managed 10 practice swings today. Oh, no, 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 no. Let's be nice to Lukaku. This is... What is this? Well done. We warmly welcome your refreshments. In fact, you can come cook for us every day if you want. I'll even provide you with a maid uniform. No. Let's do this one. You sure get along with your family. How many family members do you have anyway? Doro keeps insisting that tried maidens should come in pairs. Let's do that. <laughs> Whenever I ask him where he's going, he always says something like, I'm picking up my beloved daughter up from school, or my beloved daughter has a cold with a huge grin on his face. He dotes on her too much. It probably just annoys her. Anyway, how irresponsible can you be to neglect work to go see your daughter? He used to put a back soon sign on the door whenever he left, but now he has Suzuha to take care of things while he's gone. So, here's the fixed TV! Suzuha lightly taps the TV on the counter. He said to charge 1,000 yen. Damn manager. I bet he gave it to us just so he could charge repair fees. I reluctantly take a bill out of my wallet and hand it to Suzuha. She takes out a receipt. Apparently it was already written out. Thanks for your patronage. I'll just take it away. By myself? Are you joking? Huh? Didn't you bring it here by yourself? Don't you know it takes ten times more effort to go up the stairs than down? To find gravity is no easy task, woman. What? That's a weird way to word that sentence. I guess I can help, but... Oh, I see. So we're already in the age where women do physical labor. She mutters, her tone pensive. How sarcastic of her. <laughs> I don't remember anyone asking for your help. Honestly, getting help from a girl like you would just hurt my pride. Wow! Applause. <laughs> so stupid. That was so manly. I may be falling for you. <laughs> you think you could trick me like that? You're lying, aren't you? Eh? What makes you think that? 
Coloring gentleman. It's one of my powers. Coloring gentleman. This power allows me to see through lies. Liars appear to glow red, then they die. You have powers? What is up with this girl? It's like she doesn't understand anything. Suzuha's eyes pop, but then she clears her throat as if to hide her surprise. Are you some kind of esper? When I nod, she whispers into my ear. I, what? <laughs> what is going on? Are there a lot of espers like you? Of course not. I am special. I thrust my chest out as far as possible to display my majesty. Oh, you had me scared for a second there, but still, it's amazing that people like you exist. Maybe CERN is the reason there aren't more where I came from. After muttering some nonsense to herself, she finally nods in understanding. What? By the way, does your ability to see through lies have any combat application at all? If it were me, I'd want perfect accuracy with a thousand meters or ultra fast reflexes that let me tear my enemy's limbs off before they can react. What the hell is she talking about? Is she a survival game otaku? A mock battle using air guns, primarily played outside in the mountains. Participants generally wear camouflage. No, wait, don't tell me. You're an organization assassin, aren't you? You must be the one that called Miss Golgolo. Golgo. Who hired you? Nobody hired me. What's a Golgo? She's trying to gloss over things with an insincere smile. Her confusion is suspicious. That reminds me, I remember her saying some awfully disturbing things when we first met yesterday. Anyway, do you have any other powers? I accidentally clicked past that. Even if I did, there's no way I'd tell a hitman hired to kill me. I'm not going to kill you. What if this girl's actually dangerous, um, Rintaro? What are you gonna do? Revealing my powers would be suicide. They are most effective when the, with the element of surprise. In other words, they're for me to know and for you to find out. Meanie. Say what you like. Burning tension runs between us. Our eyes meet. Invisible sparks scatter. <sighs> Shining finger, Jesus! Oh, Cap Bacon! I want you to reply to me already. I've been waiting, you know. And please tell me the super hacker's address when you can. If we don't get cracking, someone else might get to the IBN 5100 first. And then an email arrives to break the stalemate. I turn my attention away from Suzia. The ringtone is th this ringtone is starting to piss me off. It's most likely from that male demon shining finger. I can tell without even checking. Tch, this is getting ridiculous. She's got some stalker qualities and maybe split personalities. I shouldn't have given her my address. I look at Suzuha and see her lying on the counter. She's playing with something in the palm of her hand. Looks like a small metal pen. Anyway, how could she be so lazy on her second day? I love CRT's was a lie too, wasn't it? Why the frown? Did you get a death notice? Uh -huh. A what? 
J just wondering. She was just wondering if I got a death notice. How can she say that with a straight face? And what the hell's a death notice anyway? Do those even exist? The scroll is weird. Um, what I meant to ask was if you got some unpleasant news. <sighs> you could say that. This girl is hard to get a handle on. I really shouldn't let my guard down around her. There's this woman who's obsessed with finding an IVN 5100. Suzuha leaps up as soon as I speak. IBN 5100? You know about them? Yeah. So. IBN 5100の都市伝説は有名だったのか? I see. So the IBN 5100 legend is famous, huh? Maybe that retro PC is more popular with female otaku than I thought. So, 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 yeah, that's it. I heard the urban legend from someone. How much do you know about it? IBN 5100を実際に探し回ってみたが、結局、秋葉にはなかったという落ちは知っている。I actually tried looking for an IBN 5100, but in the end, I came to the conclusion there is one in Akiba. I see. Well, that's true. You sound like you know something. Well, I do and I don't, I guess. I don't know, but I know it's a friend. <laughs> I don't know about it personally, but I happen to hear about it from a knowledgeable acquaintance of mine or something like that. <laughs> Another insincere smile. I'm starting to think she's not a very good liar. You can tell she's lying when she smiles like that. Sure enough, she doesn't offer any information. She just keeps that insincere smile plastered on her face. Who are you? Huh? <sighs> Suzuha falls back down on the counter with a deep sigh. She looks at me from that position. I was thinking of giving you a bunch of interesting information on the IBN 5100. But when you look at me like that, I don't feel like it anymore. I'm not even interested in the IBN 5100. I'm more concerned with CERN right now. Solving one of Akiba's mysteries won't topple the organization's regime, and after all... You don't have a shred of credibility. I have no way of knowing if this interesting information of yours is true or not. Wow, that's harsh. Well, I admit I am acting kind of suspicious. I won't tell you, but I'll give you a hint. And then you'll writhe in agony when you can't figure it out. Truth is, the IBN 5100 has a hidden function. A hidden function? That reminds me, I'm pretty sure John Titer from 2000 said something like that. I searched through my memories. If I remember correctly, the IBN 5100 can do something with or other with proprietary programming language. No way! How did you know? Tell me, tell me! I only vaguely remembered, but it looks like I hit the mark. I grin. <laughs> it's another one of my powers. Leading question. I can read your heart of hearts. What? No fair! For some reason, Suzuha covers her face with both her hands. She opens her fingers just enough to peek at me. It's not enough to escape my power. <laughs> I 
I see everything, Amane Suzuha. Resistance is futile. Anyway, the IBN 5100 has a hidden function. It can decipher IBN's proprietary programming language, which was written before APL and BASIC became widespread. Isn't that surprising? Now I remember. John Titer said the same thing in 2000, and right after that, an IBN engineer officially admitted to that function's existence. Now that it's a dead programming language that can only be deciphered with an IBN 5100. The reason John Titer traveled from 1975 to obtain an IBN 5100 was because he needed that function. Maybe Moika wants to use it too. Or maybe not. Shining Finger doesn't seem like the type to know about that sort of function. That's why IBN 5100s are so rare. While talking, Suzuha keeps dropping her glance to the metal pin in her hand. She rolls it around with her fingers. I guess that's a habit of hers. So, IBN 5100s are super rare? Maybe if I could get one, I could sell it for a high price. That could be a good way to raise research funds. But first, I have to deal with CERN. Alright, this was a very long episode, so I'm going to stop right here, and we will pick up right here with this at channel John Titor thing again. I'm gonna go ahead and save. There are so many things happening right now. So many... Like... Oh, I guess we are officially in Chapter 2. There's so many things happening right now. It's really strange. Like, I don't... Like... So... I think something that like I was blah, blah, blah. so something people told me while I was playing Danganronpa was that I was very good at figuring out what was happening or or what was going to happen next or I was really good at figuring out the mysteries of that game this game is really bizarre and I'm having a hard time grounding any theories and that's so refreshing for me I love I I, I don't I want to say I don't want to say that I don't like um, games where I can figure out the mysteries, but there's something really amazing when you play a game and you don't know what's going to happen, or when you read a book and you don't know what's going to happen, or when you watch an anime and you don't know what's going to happen, when something just literally is just pulling the rug out from under you and you're just trying to keep up with it and figure out what's going on, it feels really, really cool. And it'll make... It'll make me watching this later in an absolute treat because I'll just, I'll love the fact that I'll know what's going on and I'll, I'll hear the confusion in my voice and yeah, I don't know. I'm having a great time with Steins Gate. I hope you guys are too and I hope you look forward to the next episode and I'll see you guys then. Bye bye.